cocksucker. Yeah, so I'm using, I got my new employee over here. His name is uh, Tripod. <laughs> he took Trent's job, he holds the camera. It's like a three axis tripod that's almost as tall as me that I can put the camera everywhere. So I'm just kind of having a good time with that right now. It's definitely fun. I just hacked that bend off. These are all, I got a bucket full of bends from when I made the first uh, frame rails for our saddlebags. I got a bucket full of them that didn't work out because that shit was hard. So now I'm gonna make a nice little hoop to go across here just to stiffen this up because these aluminum things are a little flexy. You see that? And you've got the, f the fender bolts up in here with three bolts on each side and that makes it a lot more rigid, but I would like to have this rigid as fuck since I am mounting shocks back here and he is gonna be hitting like 130 miles an hour around a turn. So I'm gonna brace the back of this, box the front of this, I've talked about it already, and then, and then mount the shocks down here. But right now, Probably gonna do it out as far back as possible, I would think, or maybe closer to the shock. Which one would be better? Hmm. One right here and one right here would be the way to do it, but it's a lot of work, man. I think closer to the shock, the back of it don't matter shit. Just made a fancy stand. By fancy, I mean absolute hideous piece of shit. I have a bunch of various scrap metal pieces laying around for the hydraulic bender that I'm going to try out right now. And you guys can watch it because I got this fancy new tripod. This is really easy. It's basically just like what I do all day anyways. Just talk to myself and work on motorcycles. So now at least somebody's listening to me talking to myself. So yo, here's the fender. Here's my radius, my die. It fits right in the fender. So I'm thinking in theory, this is all going to just, you know, be the perfect bend. So I got this little crossbar built. This guy's gonna go in here like this, but I don't wanna weld it together because I need to be able to take these pieces off separately when I cut it into the box stem. We box this bottom piece down here if you guys can even see what I'm talking about. But that's where I'm at. I'm pulling this out and I'm gonna start boxing. up it's just all setting in here like pressure fit right now nothing's even tacked or welded i want to get these standoffs like set up right here where i'm going to set up the shocks now and then once i have all this built and tacked then i will start welding this bitch together 
Well, we got these 14 inch legend arcs. Ooh, look at those pretty things. I don't want to take this off right now. I want to keep them pretty. These shocks are nasty. I took the ones off of this bike and put them on my stunt bike. And then they sent me a new set, which I, was for the stunt bike, but I'm going to put the new set on this bike because, I mean, those were only rode once. The other ones too. So they're both new. But they used to mount up here, moving the shock mount down to here. I'm going to drill this out, build a standoff. You'll see all that shit. And then it's going to get us a, a ton of height in the ass and a little better geometry on the shock. All this is braced now. I got this hoop across here that's going to keep it from flexing side to side. Brace it across here, which it bolts to the frame, the actual frame itself. So it's just another bolting point to tie all this shit together back here and make it more rigid. And then I'm just going to keep plugging away on all this. Once I have everything like finalized and mocked up, then I'm going to start welding it together. Yo, so can you see my little fucking doodad right here? It's a live punch, center oh, punch. You talking to me. Sorry. No, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. I'm going to put it through here, then this will give me a perfect center hole on this. Everything's already marked out, all that jive. I've also got a little stop down here to set it where it used to be. It holds it firmly when it does get farming here. Ready? Back to the drill press. Drill it, bolt everything up the way it's supposed to be, and then I'm gonna start tack welding, and then it's gonna be some finish welding, and this thing's gonna be badass. Ain't nothing else out there like this right now. I feel like uh, pretty proud of this because I got some groundbreaking shit going on. Oh. It's like the next day, almost 10, been here for a while. Uh, I'm getting back on this thing. I left last night at like 6.30, got tired and all that good shit. But most of the subframe is done. I got to pull it apart and like finish weld it and clean up some of my shitty welds over here because it was the end of the day and I couldn't really see. Might have got a little stone too. But <laughs> I'm going to fix that up. Finish weld it. Everything is rock solid. Like... I got no flex, no nothing. Like I said, I'm just moving on to the next part. Uh, I'm busy and I'm tired, so <laughs> bear with me. fit this thing in here and put it all together and then put it on the motorcycle. That's my plan. Hopefully it works. This has to go inside the fender, which really makes it a bit of a bitch. Fuck, I meant to cut the front of the fender. So I'm gonna just make a fucking slice along the direction I think this thing is going and then I'm just going to bend this up a little bit and force it down in there just real quick and easy. Custom. I'm going to make this as simple a process as possible. Ten snips. Real good friend to have. You can only do that with the new fenders because they're made of tin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes they are. This is how sturdy these fuckers are. Hmm. It's just not going to work. Well, this sucks. I have to build a fucking fender. I can do that. 
All right, well, that's how much I'm gonna cut off of this fender. I'm gonna cut this thing. Where do I cut it? Hmm. That's a good question. To what I thought was gonna take me like four or five hours turned into two to three days and I'm still not done the mock-up is all done though this is how it's gonna sit you can see it all like so but yes I love having this wall dude Look at this. This is something I'm real stoked about. You see this blue wall back here? It's the stay the f away from me. I'm working wall. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love all you guys. Thanks for coming in and seeing us and stuff. And it's amazing how many like fans and people that are pumped on this that we've gotten so far. But it's also amazing how many people want to come by and see the shop now, which please come by and see the shop. But I'm not always going to be able to be the one to talk to you because I am super, super, super busy. So I got myself a little barrier wall right here. What do we got now? See, another fucking guy sneaking up in here bothering me. We got the one and only Rob from Gear Wrench. That's where we get all of our tools from. This is the man. You guys seen any of my fancy electrical, my uh, electrical soldering gun? Oh my God, hands down. All right, gotta go, I'm running out of time. All right, man, so back to what I was just saying a second ago about my walls and how I can't get anything done. So. If you guys come in, please come in, say hi. Trent's super friendly, he'll get you dialed. If I'm back here working, <laughs> just let me, let me keep working. You're just gonna have to settle with me. <laughs> I'm tired of going home at eight o'clock at night. This <laughs> <laughs> shit's, shit's for the birds. So anyways, I'm taking this Breck tree off here because I'm done with it, basically. Mock-up's all good. I gotta sand it up and clean up my shitty work a little bit, and then I'm gonna take it down to Steve-O and have him body work it and paint it. So it looks like I'm a really, really good fabricator. Which? Is that the secret behind fabrication? Just body work and paint? No. <laughs> Honestly, I am a really, really good fabricator, but sometimes, at the end of a 10 hour day, I might get a little stone to go to welding on things, and maybe them welds don't turn out the way they should. <laughs> but just, you know, real talk. That's what painters are for. I'm also way too hard on myself because every time people come in here, I'm like, don't be looking at my welds. They're like, man, those look beautiful. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> no, they don't. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm running half inch ARP bolts through the whole frame rail. 
half inch ARP is like, bitch is tough. The bitch is tougher than a two dollar whore. Which in some countries that could get you a pretty nice one. collapsed onto the, <laughs> onto the motorcycle. Ah, <laughs> I'm going down. You got to call Brian over here again. Oh God. Got to really get this fucking squat thrust down into things. Power stance. Yeah, once you reach like breach 40, bending over to do things isn't an option anymore. You got to fucking squat down into it like this. Power knees. Got to keep them legions nice and pretty. Fucking fine thread. God damn, my back hurts, dude. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, I might not get up. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> There she be. She's a one-piecer. Oh, see, that shit's ugly. Just had to clean it up. She's welded on the inside. So then I'm gonna fucking smooth that out with some Bondo and shit. Dude, you can like really see how f these fucking rails back here are bent from when I jumped it. And you can really see that. And this is on the bike now, because this makes it very noticeable, which kind of sucks, but. And that was before you put the shocks on, right? You jumped it I before jumped with that the with the mono shock. shock and it's still bent? Yeah, so the mono shock bolts up to here, to, to this rail up here. I think it just fucking push this guy up and out. You did land a little heavy on the left side too. That I did, real, real heavy. Also bent the fork tubes, bent everything. The whole suspension went to shit on the bike when I jumped it. And I only got like that much air probably. But I did flat land fucking 700 pounds, <laughs> very rough. So, I mean, that's it. I'm gonna grind this bitch up, take it down to Sebo. Sex goes down. Yeah, it actually does quite a bit. So we'll have right. nice tension on the booth right here. All the filters will be up there. Close in my booth. We'll be good to go. This is G shit. This is where it all happens, folks. Look at this fancy moth. Yeah. He's only like a block away from our shop. Yeah. What's that? We could tell the people. Oh, we got a big old compressor over there. Nice. Yeah. Hit me up. All your paint needs. Custom bikes, some little insurance stuff. We do it all. Detail, everything, right? Yeah. Buff, yeah. detail. I got a good dude. McLaughlin Auto Arts. You know a spot. <laughs>